buenos dias, mi gente. Welcome to Monday Music Mantras, where we start off our week with music and a mantra that'll change that gloomy Monday morning frequency to an energized station. This is Maria Turk. So how was your week since last Monday? Did you practice your core values? If you did, celebrate and share. But if you missed last week's video, it's not too late. Click on the link and get caught up. So last month, it warmed my heart to honor my mother and all mothers who shared their pearls of wisdom with us and our children. The beauty of those pearls are breathtaking, right? But for today's mantra, I want us to enjoy honoring our fathers. Again, as with our mothers, regardless of our upbringing and our relationship with our father, we're here, we came to life because of them. We have so much to be grateful for always and this gratitude it ignites our love superpower why well first let's recognize how powerful a father's role is so many times when a father isn't around we hear people say that the mother has taken the role of a mother and father and the same when a mother's not around right they say that the fathers become the mother and father well i'm one of those people who disagree with that yeah Without a whole deep dive discussion on what a mom is supposed to do and what a dad is supposed to do, regardless of all I did for my children and what traditional role I played, they never called me daddy. I was never a father to them. I simply was the best mother I could be with what I had and with what I knew at the time. That's all I could be. I never took that role away from their father. Yes, the role of a father isn't part of a dual role for any one person. Both are needed for the right balance. So just like with mothers, there are many fathers or fatherly figures who impart great wisdom for their own children and they've stepped in to be part of the village to help other children who are lacking a father or just offering another pair of hands to raise the village. Yes, let's get over ourselves. Raising our children takes a village, so thank you. And so today I'm excited to share with you a fatherly wisdom that I received from my father when I was very young. It was about choices and it stuck with me. So here's what he said. He said, being rich isn't about saying I can afford a jet plane. No, being rich is when your only problem is deciding what color you want the jet plane to be. Yes, he said that being rich is in the power of choice. It's a funny thing about that childhood memory. I remember visualizing that. I remember picturing him taking me to a hangar full of jets and saying, Maria, which color should we pick? In reality, back then it was a fantasy, but in that moment I could just picture it and somehow that made sense. Look, I didn't grow up aspiring to own a jet in the least, but looking back at that memory, what that taught me was, one, great wisdom sticks with us, when we can picture it in our minds and we can see it so we can believe it. And two specifically about this wisdom from him was that I strive to get to a place where I wasn't anxious about affording what I wanted, but to where I could exercise my choices, my priorities. And three, if I don't like how that jet or my goal shows up for me, I can pick another color. There's power in choices. So let me pause for a minute. I'm not talking about being fickle and careless and changing our minds every chance we get, reneging on our commitments without cause. There's no real joy in that, that's not rich. No, it's about knowing our choices and measuring the cost of choosing. And when we're making decisions that affect the life of at least one other person, it definitely can't be a haphazard decision. Yes, we have choices, but as with all powers, choices come with responsibility. Look, we don't always need to exercise all our options. The alternatives aren't always good for us, but let's understand them. Let's understand the blessings and the consequences of these choices. And then let's own the decision of our choice with gratitude. Why? Because with gratitude, there's no room for envy or FOMO. No, we feel joy and rich because we made our choice with eyes wide open. We chose our song and we'll dance to this song. But ugh, this is a lot to break down like we do with all dance moves. Yet we've already had quite a few Monday music mantras about choices, right? Our beliefs, our triggers, our values, our practices, 
who's in our circle, our dance partners, and the songs we move to. But there's more. Keep coming back to Monday Music Mantras as we continue to expand this topic of choices. You know, next week we'll talk about choices we've made based on bad intel. Yikes. You know what? We got this. Meanwhile, gracias papi for this wisdom you taught me. Normally I would move on to our mantra song at this point, but let's throw in a bonus lesson. Remember what I said about retaining wisdom with pictures? Well, let me tell you that I was also blessed with a stepfather as part of my village. He would quote this famous actor by saying, No es lo mismo me baño en el río que me río en el baño. <laughs> it's a play on two Spanish words that have different meanings. And in English it won't make sense, but essentially it's saying, It's not the same, I bathe in the river and I laugh in the bathroom. Now there's a picture, but my lessons from that, well, one is that my stepdad was always trying to find humor in every situation. Seriously, laughter is his medicine. So he would often settle a tense mood with this expression. But two, this truly taught me that not everything is what it seems. What people say may not be about the words they use. He taught me to dig a little deeper, don't assume, ask more questions, be more curious. And three, we can find wisdom in the strangest places, even from Cantinflas. I can truly go on and on and speak of other male role models in my upbringing. Uncles, teachers, neighbors, spiritual leaders, community leaders. They were everywhere. And I'm so proud to know so many who are currently active participants in the village to raise today's children. Let's remember to be thankful for their impact in our lives, however small or great. And most importantly, let's carry that wisdom. Let's pull from it. Let's learn those dance moves we've never practiced. And let's keep them alive in our children. Let's make that parental wisdom immortal with our love superpower. Let's make it unforgettable. So for this Monday Music Mantra in honor of my father and one of his old school favorite songs by Nat King Cole, our mantra is unforgettable though near or far. Yes, feel that song remind you how unforgettable fatherly wisdom is to all of us regardless of how you received it. Breathe that in, hold it in with gratitude and continue to release it to our children. Make it a Monday full of wisdom that will carry you for the rest of the week. Hit that like button if this resonates with you. Share with a friend or two or three. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know how this week is going. Come back next Monday for another mantra to groove out your week. And until then, unforgettable though near or far. This is Maria Turk with this week's Monday Music Mantras. Check out this version of Unforgettable. Breathe it, move to it, stay on this frequency. Enjoy some more fatherly wisdom and stay in touch.